Hey, good morning. My name is Adam. Uh, my wife and I have a trip scheduled. I think I talked the other day um, on Monday, Tuesday, and we were wondering if we couldn't uh, do that and starting tomorrow on Sunday overnight to Monday. I opted to uh, end up getting a chain with a lock which is the only thing that made me feel somewhat safe that somebody isn't going to take it. My mommy took my temperature and I thought I had corona, but no, I don't! <laughs> Music played perfectly. So unfortunately we had to drive, uh, well we started off driving to our destination, which is up in Roanoke, Virginia, and realized that we uh, left the GoPro at home on the counter. So Jesse called the kids, they said, yep, sitting right here. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. At the light, use the left lane to make a U-turn at Dyer Street. So we are still about an hour away from Roanoke, Virginia, and we are stopping into our second McDonald's on the way because the first one gave us some coffee that tastes miles. like butt. Continue straight. We, 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 we like our Proceed sugar in our coffee. They didn't put no sugar in We think they just this had some dang... Uh, you need to shut your mouth. Um, Hit the end button. What's her name? It'll, it'll, pause, her. it'll pause her? Okay. It'll pause her. Um, but uh, yeah, I think they put coffee and then just milk in it. A lot of milk. A lot of milk. So that, that's, that was neither a vanilla latte nor a caramel macchiato. Oh, another successful landing. Thank you. Thank you. So we're at. Fairfield Inn and this is a hotel we're gonna be staying at but check out the awesome view we're gonna get boom mountains all around mountains all around here in Virginia we are in Roanoke I believe and uh, what a gorgeous view so should be a nice uh, nice look out the windows hopefully we get one on this side but I think the mountains are going around but we'll see hopefully we get a good room we're not for sure but the in here, listen. Are you listening to rap music? I didn't mean to hit. Is that, was that rap? It's gold digger. I can't go on a camp trip with you if you're gonna rap. <laughs> I mean, there's no one, no one in this parking lot. I thought, well, I mean, there's two cars, probably people that work here. That's a little cool though. Who's singing? Is that on the TV? What in the world is that? I didn't grow up like talking okay. about my emotions with other people. That was weird. Is this my mountain? This is your mountain. Well, there's no view of the mountains, but I mean. I think of my dad and Trevor as much as I do. He says that we can live anywhere, and I feel like me being able to test myself in all these different environments brings me closer to that relationship. I mean, that's just kind of odd to walk into in a room. That's strange. You know, I mean, give me some Mexican happy music or something. Right? So, we're in the hotel, and, uh, Things have changed, and we didn't realize, and we're informed by an obvious fact that you are now um, given an allotment <laughs> of toilet paper. There's, there's only so much you can use, and uh, so this is what we get between me and you for tonight. So, it's the allotment that you get, I think, uh, pretty sure they counted it down to the sheet. 
And um, I was wondering why she asked if it was just me and her, me and you. I wanted to make sure they had sheets, so. Uh, tonight there'll be no Mexican food. There'll be nothing hot and spicy because, uh, you know, we gotta go we easy. Gotta we gotta go easy on the toilet paper and things something in the morning, so. Uh, if you're coming to a hotel and you don't want to be limited, you might bring your own. So we got to our hotel and we have ordered some pizza because they'll deliver. And it's very difficult to find places that you don't have to drive to um, to do curbside pickup. So we opted to do some delivery. But in the meantime, since we are going to be going on a river that has some class ones and twos, and Jesse doesn't have a whole lot of experience with it, we're sitting here, huh? None. None. You've been on. She's been on the Hall River, um, and everything. But we thought that it would be a great opportunity to check out some uh, instructional videos uh, on YouTube on how to. Uh, how to kayak. So we're going to be doing that until our pizza gets here. Hey, are you nervous about tomorrow's river at all? How do you feel about it? No, I'm not really. I think once I get there, I won't be. But then in my head, I'm like building it up to where it's like. What do you think the worst that can water. happen is? I'll get wet. Wet and, I'll and get cold. cold. Yeah, that's about it. But then tomorrow, since we changed the days, tomorrow's going to be close to 70, hopefully. Be nice. So the worst that happens is you can flip out and get wet. And what do we do after that? We dry off. Do we have a plan for it? Um, we do have a plan. Get the boat and get out of the water? Yeah, we'll get your boat to the side, build you a fire. We got that wet fire that'll light real easy. We'll get you on the side of the river and have you change clothes. We got like a fire we make. We even got a space blanket that you can wrap around you to radiate the heat back to your body. So we got a plan for it. Look, it's me. Are you going to wear that blue shirt tomorrow? Guess which one's me. Yes. I'm gonna wear that blue shirt tomorrow. News, so, it be too horrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's so it's about 7.15 in the morning. We're supposed to um, be there at 8.30 uh, to shove off. Um, and they don't really want you there earlier than 15 minutes. But I think we're gonna end up taking off here in a little bit, at least to get to their spot and um, start loading our boats and making sure everything fits. So us about how you think the trip's gonna go. How about I not? So the uh, James River is right to the left of us, running behind these homes, and a gorgeous mountain just staring down on you. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And our destination is right up here around this corner, or right on the corner, actually. And we got here, we're, we're a little early, but not too bad. I mean, we're maybe 25 minutes early, but we want to try to get our boat packed up. Our boat's packed up. So. Oh, there's a park. Park. It ain't all taken off either. I see some canoes Turn and stuff. Left. Then the destination is on your right. Let's just come huh. up here and pack apart, mess with our boats. And there's Twin River Outfitters, that little brown building right here to our right. Arrived. A little bit just chilly. What is it this morning? 38 degrees. Good morning. Good morning. You, guys the you betcha. Oh, come on up when you're ready. All right. Look at you. My woman knows how to pack. Look, she's using her booty oh to put God. stuff in. It's like a... Orange, orange juice and apple juice might come in handy too down the oh, road. Oh, my oranges. So a small gaff on my part, and we have neglected to bring the just the little screw thing that holds on a GoPro mount. And... Ay, ay, ay. Jesse and I are walking up to uh, the last... Uh, spot in civilization to buy drinks ever so we're gonna go get a drink yeah, these guys have been patient uh i guess they're twins that's why it's called twin river outfitters but they've been patient they've allowed us to walk up here uh this must be the burger king that people were talking about stopped at for a good breakfast i always love a good restaurant in a, yeah, in a gas, station. gas station so i need to mention that the brothers there got us a scotty pin so we are saved yes don't drop that it's like like worth a million dollars right now Let's see, we're gonna do horse and den to Alpine. Okay, what's the class what's the rapids on that one? We call it class one and class two. Perfect. Yeah, the whole six or seven miles of the river is class one and class two. Give you this map here. Yeah. You guys are gonna start horse and den. Okay. The only hard you got two hard rapids today. It's this one about 10-15 minutes in and you gotta run 
10 to 15 feet on the right side of the river. I'll remind you of that three or four times, but that'll be uh, the, at the water level, you just want to go right side of the river. And that's easy if you do that. If you go on the left side of the river, then it's a big standing wave over there. We just go on the right side. A couple okay. more straightforward rapids. There's a railroad trestle bridge here, Interstate 81 bridge here. You come back into town and you'll pass here. This is about nine miles into your trip. Today you guys are doing 16 miles. Okay. So when yeah, so you need to be leaving by 10. Leaving by 10, perfect. Have fun. Thanks so Thanks. much. We're a phone call away, something comes up. Okay. We have made it to Horse Horseshoe Bend Access, I believe, on the James River. The river is moving beautifully. It's going to start off with some nice, easy, just bobble right through. It's going to get the, the wiggles out real quick. Get out real quick. So the water's come up a little bit. The guy said that uh, it rained a good amount, so we got some good, good flowing water, which is going to help because the first part of our trip is going to be 16 miles before we get to our campsite, and then tomorrow will be a nice short one, about four miles. Uh, it's going to be nice and cool in the morning, so that'll be perfect. So today's the day. The weather's supposed to be mid 60s. Hopefully, we'll get to the higher 60s, even touch some 70s would be great. Uh, Jesse is mounting her camera because the. Uh, the, the boys at Twin River Outfitters saved us uh, by giving us one of those little screw-ins that are supposed to hold it. So I think she's struggling with that, so I'm going to help her with that here in just a second. But anyways, I better get to it so we can get on the water. It's chilly. I can feel it. It's cold right now. My fingertips are warming up a little bit, but I think that's just the nervousness, the excitement part of it, getting that blood pumping for us. So. And here we go. 16 mile in our skirt. Everything's good. Going for the beefcake. We'll do it like this. Jesse's a little concerned about this first little bobble. I don't blame him. River's moving good. Skirts there. <laughs> So we're just about half an hour in, and uh, we went through some pretty cool, pretty cool rapids. Some good sized ones, from what I've been in. You know, more of what I call a wave train. Um, we did dodge that healthier one on, at the onset, which was smart to do, uh, especially bringing Jesse the first time. The last thing that you want to do is bring somebody to enjoy some kite camping and then flip them, or have them get flipped right off the bat into freezing cold water, and then have to get off to the side and do some change of clothes. Maybe make fire, you know, get them comfortable again. So, you I hear some more up there. Like going half way across the country and doing a seven-day trip. It's what? You wouldn't suggest going across the country and doing a seven-day trip for your first time. No, I wouldn't suggest going across the country for your first time seven-day trip unless you know the people. There's what? Turtle. 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 I hear some more rapids up here. But anyways, my point is, is that I think Jesse has actually enjoyed those rapids. Definitely got her heart rate up. I actually didn't know if I was going to look back and see her laid out on her deck, passed out, but she wasn't.
You want to come over in here? You want to come over here? Just turn an angle up and come over. Now paddle at that angle. Keep paddling hard. I'm gonna give up. I'm not getting there. You are, you're getting here. You're, you're absolutely getting here beautifully. Angle back my way a little bit. You're ferrying like a boss. You are doing great. What do you mean you're not getting here? You are getting here. Look at you. You are at a great angle. Even Peckleberry couldn't deny it. And it's, now here's calm water. We could sit in here all day. Look at you, look at you. Now this is all under, under the rocks and stuff. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. Seven bucks, and it's definitely added some extra cushion under there. But no matter what you got under you, it's gonna get to you a little bit Image. after a while. So I don't know how, what time is it? What time? It was it? noon last time I looked for one. So it's noon thirty, noon thirty-five. What time do we launch? After nine. About the eight thirty. So we probably got launched about nine thirty. You think ten? You think? Uh, Which is nine thirty ten? Nine thirty ten. That's definitely a shipwreck, but... Most likely, but... So, it's been about three hours. It's been a good three hours, though. We got to play a little bit under a little overhang, rock overhang. Jesse ferried across. It's on camera. You ferried across <laughs> like a boss. Oh, that's good. She's like, I'm going to give up. No, no, don't give up. <laughs> You're coming over just right. I didn't feel like I was going where I wanted to be. Uh, ferrying's kind of like that. It's, 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 it's one of those things, the faster the water is, the harder you got to paddle. But we're doing okay today. Right now, we're, if you look at the tree over there, we're at, we're barely moving. <laughs> a little bit. Huh? Junior bands. So, Jesse and I have been paddling and a paddling, trying to find this little island. Supposed to be a lot of little islands for the James River. And we've seen a lot that could have been islands, but the water, the water is just a little bit higher than what it needs to be, probably. Oh, Adam. Huh? Carp. Carp? And then into this green. He's kind of going under the green now. Oh, I do see it. See that? Nice. That does. Yeah. You know, it's a carp. I think that. Uh, it's, I thought because its lips were on the bottom, it kind of yeah. reminded me of a carp. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Big old head on him, though. Like a bull head almost. Sure. I'm not really sure what that fish is. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Good find, Jesse. Brand of carp. Jesse thinks it's a carp. It could, it could be a brand of carp. It could be a brand of carp. Maybe one of them Chinese ones or something. Some I grew up from a minnow, released it into the wild. Yep. Hmm. At all. And there it goes, peeling out. Lean left! Lean left! <laughs> now, we do have our cameras tethered for those of you who are wondering if we have our cameras tethered. We do. In fact, we have most things tethered. So we feel like we've tethered ourselves because we've got skirts on these things. They're much larger skirts. Maybe I'll get a chance to show you a picture of that, but uh, we got the rabbits coming up. Our skirts aren't really fantastic at uh, keeping the water out because they got a zipper on them. Can, you, can we see your zipper? 
in here. Lift, lift that flap on that zipper right there. So it's got a little flap on that zipper, and that is not a waterproof zipper. So it is allowing water to get in a little more than we had hoped. Of course, these rapids are a little bit bigger than I had thought they would be. And so Jess did a fantastic job last time with the wave train. She started getting turned sideways. And in fact, honey, if you, you can pull up your skeg on this, and that will allow us to be able to turn in it. Or you can keep it down. You just, I don't say I can put it down. I, I put yours down. Huh? I put yours down. Why the heck would you do that? But you can pull it up if you want to. All right, it's up. And uh, so we got skegs up, and that'll give us a little bit of ability to turn. These at will in a system of spirals will turn quite easily. Uh, night wa not whitewater boat easy, obviously. We can't do 360s on one turn of the paddle or pull of the paddle. But as we approach it, it don't seem like a whole lot. I mean, it's just looks like some fun is what it looks like. So hopefully we'll get this on camera since I think my battery's about going. But we're kind of creeping into it because one of the things that we've learned into going into rapids is just kind of float up to them. Pick your lines. Where are you going? Go this way. Okay. We're going over to the right. If I go through the rapid and I do this, that means follow where I went. Okay. If I point, that means go a little bit left or right from where I went, it would be better. Okay. I'll try to point. If I don't point at all, just follow me. Okay. I'll give you like a, however many foot heads. Start. I wouldn't give me too much because then you might not see what I went around or something. All right. About sideways. Okay. I'm just afraid if I get sideways then I'll... I know, I was just thinking I haven't looked for 1V yet. To top off and look at it? Yeah. I think you just need to tighten around here maybe. I think what the problem is. Remember how I pulled you and strapped you down? Does it feel nice and tight? Yeah, see if it needs to... What'd you think of those? You did good. You approached it and I, I, I had to turn and turn out because we don't want to get thrown up in the trees and the, and the rocks, but... But, um... That's okay. Paddle out of it. Falling us down the river the whole time. Maybe that's his take out. Looks like he's taking out. Okay. It was getting a little annoying, to say the least. So, there you're looking at the swinging bridge, and then you're looking at the regular bridge. Vehicles, but. It's an interesting way to get on it right there. I don't even think Jesse would go down. That spot where you get down there. That's okay, you hit me. So, that's how you get on the swing up bridge. All wooden. All old wooden. It's got cables on it now, so. Not as bad a deal, I wouldn't think. 
We're gonna wrap around a turn, a left turn, and um, we don't want to get slammed up against nothing, so we got to be careful on that when we approach this. That we use our boat angle, our correct boat angle, and then boat speed. So, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll do boat angle and boat speed. So. <laughs> Go. Oh, these are good ones. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Good, baby. Those were good. Wasn't they good? She's letting that, that smile still stuck on her face. I was like, I was actually concerned. I was like, these could be ones Jessie could go over in if she gets turned sideways. But I think you know enough to stay straight. And these boats will turn straight. And I actually did mine with mine down. Yeah. Oh well. Um, but yeah, you did great on that. Good job. Yeah, I'd have to untether it. That's, I thought about that. I'd have to untether it. Beautiful clear water. Look at that nice smooth stones underneath. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, there's even a little... But we're so close to camp. There's no reason for us to stop, but... It'd be a gorgeous little rock beach. But just floating through here. And, and, and it kind of gives you an idea how fast we're going, too. We're, we got a little bit of speed going on. I'm catching a Jesse fixing a spinner out. There she goes, good job. But man, I hope y'all can see that on camera, but it is, um, I can't put you underwater to see it because you're on a tether. The camera's on a tether for obvious reasons, but go beside Jesse. She might ground now, maybe not. Do your hook thing, I taught you, for your left. Put it out there, V, nope, by the way, yep. Put it in front of you, though. Add a girl, good job. Add a girl. Add a girl, get you, get you some. 
<laughs> really beautiful. Quite serene in this part. Huh? I know, right? If it was hot out, this would be great. Just put the boats right there and just... It's like gentle wading right into it. It's perfect colored water. The James River is a nice, nice river for... Wouldn't you say for starting out like you are, in a way, in, in, introducing you into some rapids? Has been flawless for that. And the color, the clear water, flawless. It's not a muddy looking water, you know? So it's been great for that. We've really appreciated that. And the tree, look at the big, big, big YouTube Adam. Big butt tree above us. Nice little sand beach, a little, little slope we're dealing with. There's an island coming up, and it's got two classes. It's got a class two on the left that has a ledge to it, and then a sharp right turn that forces your water sharp, so you gotta turn quickly, which could potentially get your window shaded, just depends. And then to the right of the island is a class one, or because the water's a little bit lower, so it's class one. So we're thinking, of, we can hear it pretty good, but we're thinking of sending Jessie to the right to conquer the class one, which we know she can do. It's class one, it's not class two. It says one plus. So maybe 1.5 and uh, mm. <laughs> hearing it just gets our nerves going a little bit I don't even see an island I, I, can, oh, I can see it right here yeah I don't see an island so we might have something before this island so we might have a little bit of fun before the island and then we need to make a decision <laughs> um, but anyway so we have a decision to send me left her right so we may do that there are some pros and cons of that the pro would be be kind of neat for me to go do the class two and see if I can you know make it through which I'm pretty sure I can um, with that sharp turn and then the second uh, pro with that would be to give Jessie a lot of confidence knowing she went through one of these herself with me on the other side of the island that would be a nice cap to the end of our float here because camp is just around the corner and so that's what we're looking for the con to this the con to this is that uh, if we either not meet up. we might not see each other afterwards We'll meet up. What are you doing down there? How'd you get to camp so soon? But uh, if, if somebody goes over, I'm not in a position to help her. I'll have to wait till she flushes out and then I come out from around the island to get her. It's a small island. Or if I go down, I can try to self-rescue and at least get to the side of the water. Um, and then of course it's cold. But like I said, camp's right around the corner. We can get there and, and do what we need to do. So. But we're still far enough away from camp and not going to miss camp, right? Didn't you say camp was easy? Yeah, we wouldn't miss camp. No, we'd slow down that. But this sounds pretty rumbly tumbly right here, so I'm going to spin y'all around. We're going to focus on that. This is not what we're talking about here. Here we go, baby! So we think this might be the island where Jesse's gonna go to the right, which is a class one, and the left is a class two. That's what I'm thinking that this one is. I believe you're going to the right on this one. Consult the map. But you know what? I know you know how to do this because you're just gonna go, and I'm gonna wrap around and come back out to you. I hope. All right, here we go. Jesse and I first splitting the part. Boat angle, baby. How about that boat angle? <laughs> She's picking up some beefy speed, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
Alright, ride it out. Alright, ride your stuff out, baby. Woohoo! Get in it. Getting in it. Let it, baby. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> oh man! Whew. That uh, I had a little bit of hoop stank for for a turn making that turn right there. <laughs> I mean, I, did you? You should have looked back and see me. Fadish, fadish. There was a couple times it wanted to flip me. If I didn't have a paddle on the water, it might have been, might have been done. So. On that beach, it looks like a little small hole. Maybe some reactionary waves. Oh, not that big. Oh, lost it. <laughs> Had some rocks in it. You had to go to the left of that rock pretty quick. Woo. That's our island. because this side looks flat. I need to come over there and see that side. This side looks flat all the way down almost. You're right, I think the camp was supposed to be on the right though. Take left channel around island. Take left channel around island. Right channel typically is low in summer. So this might be, this might be interesting. Right here? Paddle hard. You're doing good, doing good. Turn, paddle hard now, paddle hard. Keep going, don't give up, keep going. You got it, you're in, you're in, keep going. You're in, keep going. Keep going. Good job. Good job. You think it's this? I think this is it, my love. Is this the island? Ugh. I'm looking at the map, beautiful. You did great on that, getting over here. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta turn and ferry it up in there. That's just how you do it. But it works, right? I mean, it's, it works. You just, but when you go to do it, you wanna make sure there's no rocks fixing to clink. Sounds great here, though. I mean, we could make this work right here, probably. I'll get out and look. We have landed, in my my, what we have landed on. We've got a portion of the river that comes over here to our, well, to my left, the river left. I don't know if you can hear the sound, but there's some rapids over there, just a little class one or whatever. Wave trains, maybe. Some white water. And look at that little sandy beach over there. Now, we can't exactly get to it unless we want to brave the logs, but that would have been cool to go over, that would have been cool to go over and eat on. But the sound that comes through here, look how shallow this is, a little bit of rock. Beautiful. And it comes and meets the other part of the river right, through here, now here's our beautiful boats. But it comes through here, and listen to the sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm, I'm gonna try to be quiet. And what a beautiful sound that's gonna be tonight while we camp. I love to camp whenever there's some sort of rapids going on. But anyways, so now what we're doing is we're gonna check out, this is, this is a camp, an island camp primitive campsite, I guess you'd call it. No facilities of any sort, but... So, here's some rock that some people have put here for a nice little, um, fire, which we'll try to... We'll see if I can collect some wood of some sort. And Jessie's on down the line here. She's kind of gandering around, see what we can find. Got a, uh, sandy beach there. Perfect. Nice little trail back here. What'd you find? Nothing. It's kind of dead ends back there. 
kind of dead ends. Any kind of a big spot to eat or anything? That is not something you would want to come through and get stuck in. Once you came down that channel, that is a straining hazard. Luckily, that one part is pretty shallow over there. It still could pin you, but I mean, right. look at that one though. Woo! Hate to go into that. But we're not. But what we appreciate about that is the sound that it makes. Some fast moving water, folk. Fast moving water. But they told us this island would have a trail on it, so we know we're on the right one. She's moving. Yeah, there's not as much. Right. Looks clear. Now here's a one. Oh man, look at this. Nice. Nice little camp space. Listen. You still hear some water though. What do you think? About this spot right here. Or do you kind of like the one on the end? I'm good with this. It's nice and open. Yeah, You'd like a little fire pit. I know there's a little fire pit looking thing down there. You'd like to do this one? What are you hearing? Oh. This. <laughs> That kind of decided it for us. Is there a place for a, our tent that might be semi flattish? So I can tell you this is horrible CPR that you're doing. It is? It is crap. Yeah. I thought it was out here to practice that. You, I wonder if I can see that view through that screen. Potentially. Ooh. So what I'm doing here now is uh, these are uh, have a inflation built-in inflator, and you basically trap your hand over this hole. There's a sponge here. You trap your hand over this hole. It traps the air, and you push. Then when you come up, you lift off completely so that it can suck in more air, and that's how you air it up. And the neat thing, are you still going? I'm still cool. going. The neat thing about these two mats is that they will connect together. So when I blow up the next one, this one will lock into the other one's female connector, and they won't slide out from under us. in there for good measure. American made fan, right? So as the sun starts to set behind the trees, we are pretty much set up everywhere. Uh, we got our tent sitting right here. We got some things strung throughout the tree that uh, need to dry out a little bit. We did find out that Jesse's sealed compartment did allow a little bit of water in but i'm thinking instead of the skeg hose um in there i think it's more of a bulkhead spot just needs to be sealed up a little bit so that's okay anyways we have a nice trail that goes back in through here and extends to a different part of the island uh, we decided to go ahead and put our boats on either side because we were going to think about building a fire here but the wind uh has been it's supposed to be calming down but the wind has been a little bit um challenging and we really didn't want uh we were even going to move the fire pit but we just decided not to mess with the fire tonight because we didn't want embers going up all over the place hitting boats hitting uh tent and stuff like that so we just opted not to plus it was going to be a little challenging finding firewood it has rained uh in the past just a few a few days ago and some of the things are still a little bit damp but we didn't need them so anyways here's the uh setup with our tent it's got a nice little vestibule sitting here a uh, nice little two wall tent it is a Big Agnes uh, Hotel 3, I believe, Blacktail, Blacktail Hotel 3. And uh, in there we have uh, some, uh, it's, it's a pretty decent setup, I'll show you. So in here we actually have, what you're seeing is the yellow, that is a, uh, a full 3, what they call 3D uh, sleeping bag, which means it's more boxed out so it gives you plenty of room. Um, I don't know if you can see through that uh, screen on the other side, but you should see nothing but straight river. And that is just gorgeous going by. It's giving us great, some good ambience. There we got a couple, I think, trekology, I think that's what they're called, uh, pillows. Um, you know, when I thought about it the second time, I realized we could just take these jackets that fold up. They tuck into their own pocket. 
we could have just brought those and um, put them under a head and probably been nice and insulated but since we'd already bought those we thought we might as well give it a try and so we got other things uh, we got two uh, air mattresses underneath this as well on that back side you can probably see a little bit of green just on the edge that is a wooby and that'll create also some insulation between us and the ground <clears throat> we do have a footprint under this tent which is made for the tent that helps uh, to keep anything from poking through um, we did clear out as many sticks or anything that we thought would be puncturing uh, or creating a nasty little bump. We did clear it out in this spot. It is a great spot to back up into. As you just saw, it was able to look over this river uh, phenomenally. So we were uh, very blessed to have that. In fact, we have river on that side and we have river on this side and it meets right down here and that's fantastic for us. So what we're doing now is we're boiling water. I think it's boiling. Um, the wife who's supposed to be cooking has left the cook site. So we'll, uh, we're going to get to this boiling water. That wind has kind of picked up and the sun has dropped, but we're going to get to eating here a little bit. We'll probably end up changing into our, uh, we'll probably end up changing into our silk weights and our warm clothes for the night. Um, I'm in nice dry shoes. How about you? My shoes are dry. Her shoes are dry. Mine were wet, uh, you know, for the, out, the dry, <laughs> the float here, mine were quite wet. So they're, they're dry now, which feels great to have a nice dry pair of wool socks. We have two pair of wool socks a piece probably overkill. Uh, the temperature is supposed to be 46 tonight, but uh, I'm going to shut up because we're going to get to eat. These are the lights inside the dome of our tent, so you can't see nothing but the lights. But it's pretty cool. Got those on Aria, yeah. huh? They're beautiful. Cool. Love it. Good morning. We had a, uh, a pretty good night last night. We turned in uh, Probably about nine. Yeah, was it? I thought I saw nine when I was in there. But anyways, huh? Sherlock cockpit covers. Oh yes, cockpit covers. Just wants me to show the cockpit covers because it is fantastic. So cockpit covers for these um, wilderness system aspires are somewhere around fifty some dollars a piece. And I really didn't want to drop another hundred because I was trying to use it on other gear that we could use so her and I could camp together like this without being in separate um, hammocks. So we actually. Um, repurposed some of our gear i had some old tarps some old rain flies i think it was the first ones i ever bought and then i had some uh shock cord that i got from uh, my send h10s that we weren't going to use uh, so we repurposed those and the the tarp or the rain fly and then we used uh, josie's ability to sew she's good at very she's a good seamstress and this is what we came up with So you can see that we got they they are uh, bungeed on around there. They're not taut or nothing like that, but they were absolutely free. So and that's what's the neatest thing about them. It fits them beautifully, absolutely free. So just sewed a nice little channel, ran that uh, shot cord through there, and um, there you go. Day two, we have about four miles to go which we thought was fantastic to do on this day since yesterday was the warmest day, today was a cooler day. Um, we're gonna have some nice little uh, boogie water when we pull off the end of this island, so it should be a good time. But. So I have, uh, what time is it? Anyways, you gonna sit out here in no vestibule? I don't know, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna stretch my back, yeah. Okay. Older in age. Older in age. Anyways, I made us some nice uh, cappuccino mix. The wind is blowing pretty good this morning. 13 miles an hour. 13 miles an hour. This kind of makes it a little colder than what it is. Uh, we knew it was going to drop a little bit before it started picking back up in temperature, but um, having a nice hot cup of uh, cappuccino, which my wife is not drinking right now, I guess it tastes terrible. I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. This is funny though. You, you got your body in here and your head stuck out. It's kind of like she's on watch. <laughs> How's it looking? <laughs> Can Paris cope up? <laughs> I'm just, I'll just talk to her body from the neck down. But anyways, um, <laughs> that's how the horse is cute. <laughs> they seem to always like it. 
Letting go. 